Hey guys, welcome back to the Diesel Stop here. I uh, want to talk about a new sponsor that I got on board here with this uh, Molly build, and uh, it's going to be Pure Diesel Power. And uh, P Pure Diesel Power here, guys, has uh, sponsored some valve springs for this motor, and I did put a uh, 3800 RPM govern spring in this motor, so uh, we don't want to take a chance and float a valve and uh, definitely send a valve into a piston and cause a lot of damage here. So it's what we're going to do today, guys. And then there's one reason I'm, I've waited until this point to go on ahead and uh, do this part of the project is because most guys that's already got their uh, motor in their vehicles, they've got to go through the same thing as what I'm about to go through here. So not everybody's just building a motor from scratch and uh, uh, putting the add-ons during the build. So uh, I'm going to show you the steps it's going to take to add these uh, valve springs in. And uh, like I said, these come from pure diesel power. And this here is going to help us from uh, floating the valve guys. And these uh, have 30% more closing power than the uh, stock valve springs. And these are 60-pound uh, valve springs here. So and these are the uh, valve springs that we're going to be putting in this Cummins here. And uh, you can see here, this is uh, who they're made by. They're uh, pack brake. So uh, we're going to get busy here. So I've got a friend here with me. And uh, Logan's going to break this uh, rocker arm assembly loose here. And then we're going to put our valve spring compressor into the uh, on top of the uh, valve springs there. And then we're going to take this uh, air fitting here. I'll show you what this air fitting looks like that I've uh, that I've made here. And we're going to shoot air into the cylinder, guys. And then uh, we're going to compress the uh, valve springs. And uh, this is that a uh, little uh, fitting that I've made to uh, blow air in through the injector. And we're going to air the uh, cylinder up. And then we're going to go on ahead and uh, go on ahead and uh, change some valve springs out, guys. So I've got this uh, new torque tool here from uh, Pure Diesel Power guys, and uh, this is what this tool looks like here. And this is what's going to go over the uh, top of the valve springs here. It's got this uh, nut on the top side here, and it's got this little Allen wrench bolt that goes through right here. And on the bottom side, it's got these uh, two tapered pieces on the sides right here. And so we're going to set this on top of the uh, valve springs right here and we're going to go back in to the uh, same bolt where the uh, rocker arm where the uh, small rocker arm bolt was torqued down to and uh, so we're going to run this down here guys so now we uh got the bottom of the uh, torque plate down, torque down there, and uh, we're going to run this nut down right here and it's going to compress our valve springs. But before we compress our valve springs, I've got this uh, fancy fitting that I made here, and I'm going to screw it into this, this uh, cylinder here where the injector plugs into, and I'm going to shoot about 150 pounds of uh, continuous air into it, and then we're going to uh, go ahead and uh, torque this uh, torque plate down. And then we're going to uh, pull our valve stem keepers out and uh, pull our valve springs off, guys. So uh, I've got continuous air on the uh, cylinder here. And I'm going to go on ahead and uh, run this nut down right here, guys.
This one here is the uh, stock valve spring, guys. This one here is the aftermarket valve spring. Came from uh, pure diesel power, guys. Same with the uh, valve springs that we're installing. So one of the things that we're going to do here, guys, is uh, going ahead and uh, break the uh, adjustment adjustment nut loose for the uh, rocker arms because uh, we don't want to put the uh, preload torque on these uh, on the uh, studs in this block without backing the uh, rocker arms off. So Logan's broke both of those loose. And we'll go back and uh, set the valve lash after I've uh, went through here and uh, put new valve springs throughout everything. Yeah, guys, this here is my buddy Logan. Like I said, he came over to help me out today, which is pretty nice to have the help. Logan, I love the t-shirt, man. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 
it up for today and if uh, you get the chance go check out puredieselpower.com and uh, they have a, a lot of aftermarket performance parts and uh, I can't wait to hear this thing run and my valve springs ought to be killer in this thing guys so uh, tomorrow's another day and uh, we'll get into uh, injectors and then a uh, south bend clutch and a mean green starter and some other really cool stuff so uh, stay tuned guys and if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe, and we'll see you later. Thanks for watching.